Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're going to take a look at Sunday's card. It is Father's Day. We have eight races on tap. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, turf course firm. Our first race on Father's Day is a one-mile event. Maiden claimers, Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and up. One jockey change on the five. Make the rider Luca Panici. Racing at Gulfstream. Jamie's catch hopped in the air at the break. From the outside, Me Doctora begins nicely. From down toward the inside, Proud Girl is showing speed today. And down toward the rail, that's Weston Enya as they run out of the one mile chute. With the lead, it's Proud Girl and Edgar Zayas by two and a half from Bullheaded Lady and Carson Sullivan, who take up the slack second. In a bit tight there was Weston Enya under Gonzalez, third in the early part, a half length better than Cowgirl Marianne. Then it's a stretch of two lengths to Boston Garden and three to the team at the back, Me Doctora and Jamie's Catch. Down the back stretch they go and Proud Girl loose up top at the five furlong point with the two length lead. Bullheaded Lady is there second toward the inside. Weston Annie is now third. From the outside and racing in fourth is Cowgirl Marianne. It's a stretch of two and a half to Boston Garden, then Jamie's catch. And far back now pulling up. Number seven, Me Doctora has been pulled up. They make their way to the far turn. They went through the opening quarter in 23 and 2, the half mile in 46 and 2. And there goes Bullheaded Lady. Bullheaded Lady and Carson Sullivan, without being asked to run, have opened up on Proud Girl, who's thrown out the anchor. Cowgirl Marianne and Weston Annie are next, followed by Boston Garden. And they race to the top of the stretch. At 8 to 5, Bullheaded Lady made first run, and she has the lead by two. Weston Annie is now taking up the slack second. The two favorites will decide it with Cowgirl Marianne back third. And they're at the top of the stretch. Here comes Weston Annie on the outside of Bullheaded Lady, they're in lockstep with three sixteenths to go. Bullheaded Lady still just the better. On the outside, Weston Annie takes another run at her second. Five lengths better than Cowgirl Marianne, third. Eighth of a mile to go. It's still Bullheaded Lady in front. Weston Annie cannot get by. Bullheaded Lady. And Carson Sullivan, who win by a length. Weston Annie second. Cowgirl Marianne, third. And fourth, Boston Garden in 138 and four. It's number six, Bullheaded Lady winning the opener for Eagle Racing Stables and Aventura Stable, trained by Peter Walder, ridden the victory today by Carson Sullivan. Second race, a five furlong sprint. These are maiden two-year-olds. You have three scratches in the race, scratch the four, the five, and number six, Phil's comprise. And they're up. Of course, begins nicely and goes looking for the lead. Nick and Nelly from down toward the inside. And Smoltz moves to challenge on the outside. Smoltz ahead in front. Of course, his second. Nick and Nelly had to alter course and move to the outside. Three lengths better than Wincombe Hill. And Grunya last of all as Smoltz clears. Smoltz at the three furlong point leads by a length and a half. Of course, is now off the fence and races second from Nick and Nelly, who's asked to quicken up by Panici in third. They're three lengths better than Grunya and Whitcomb Hill at the back. And now here comes, of course, on the outside. Of course, at the 5 16th, puts ahead in front. Nick and Nelly moves three wide to challenge and Smoltz is back third. These three to decide it with three 16th to go. Here comes the O'Connell firster, Nick and Nelly, three wide and up for a short lead. In between horses, of course, battles on second. Smoltz is now down inside third with three sixteenths to go. Panici goes to work on Nicanelli. Battling back is, of course, inside. These two, Nip and Tuck, 16th pole. Nicanelli short lead. Smoltz is on the inside back to third with, of course, coming back at Nicanelli. Nicanelli, of course, photo finish. Heads bobbing up and down, too close to call. Smoltz was third and 58 and four. Of course, there's a photo when number two, of course, wins or squeaker just gets up there at the wire. Owned by Jackson Better Farm, trained by Stan Gold, win the victory today by Edgar Zayas. We'll take a break, be back for the third in just a couple of months. Pound and Bay in front as they hit the last 16th of a mile. 15 to one shot. Pound and Bay got it done. What a horse race here as they come to the last 16th of a mile. Lexi Lou unwavering on the lead. Lexi Lou to win the South Ocean. Pound and Bay will finish second. Sligo Bay, Canada's leading sire of two year olds and number two on the Canadian general sire list in 2013, standing at Adina Springs. General A. Ron 
spot on the outside in Constitution. Cairo Prince is fifth right now, and he's four lengths off the lead. Then Matador, who's down at the rail with four and a half to make up. Constitution has won! Welcome back. A third race is seven for a long sprint. These are claimed as Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds, and up who have never won two races in life. Scratch the number two, Casalinga. They're up. Toward the outside, Think of You wins the start and goes looking for the lead with Epona's Grace moving to challenge from down toward the inside. Marie's Music is away in third. From the outside, Nora in the Sky is now fourth, a length and a half better than the favorite Golden Friendships. She's fifth behind the speed and two lengths better than back in a minute with Senorita Davina. They run down the back stretch and sharp up top. Think of you in front by two. Off the fence now, second is Epona's Grace from Marie's Music in third. Nora in the Sky is now fourth, two in front of Golden Friendships in fifth. She's had pace to chase so far, and she's five lengths better than Senorita Davina and back in a minute on the outside. They move through the opening quarter in a rock solid 22 seconds flat, and back in a minute is trying to get motivated from the backfield, chasing the speed of Think of You. Epona's Grace draws alongside second. Golden Friendships has had a perfect run of it, and Golden Friendships is now third and asked to quicken up at the 5 16th. Meanwhile, Epona's Grace now takes the lead. It's Epona's Grace and Osorio Jr. off the quarter pole and top on two lengths now from Golden Friendships, who's out after a second. Trying to run on is Marie's Music and on the outside, Nora in the Sky, and they're at the top of the stretch. Epona's Grace cuts the corner a length and a half in front to the attack now. Here comes the favorite Golden Friendships. Marie's Music is back third with an eighth of a mile to go. Epona's Grace trying to gut it out. Tommy Turner and Marie's Music begin to finish with interest. Opponent's Grace swishing her tail, but in front, it will be Opponent's Grace to win it by a length and a half. Marie's Music was up for second in front of Golden Friendship's third, and Senorita Davina ran on to be fourth in 125 and two. Number one, Opponent's Grace wins it. Nice performance owned by Maestre Racing Stable, trained by Pedro Maestre, and ridden the victory today by apprentice Jose Osorio Jr. Fourth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the firm turf course. It's an allowance optional claimer for three year olds and up. Scratch the 11, 13, and 14. The jockey on the seven is Kaber Koa. And they're up. In the center, Golden Jason begins nicely with War Classic from down toward the inside. From the high draw, imagine that mom is trying to get over, and Ben Jacob comes away in the top flight, racing fourth. Two lengths to Al Jawad Dancer, who's down inside fifth from Caldwell away sixth. Then it's Brother Pat, Gambling Fever to his inside. They're a length and a half better than El Jefe Grande. The team at the back, 10th star, and Franklin Park. They race around the opening turn, chasing the speed of Imagine That Mom, who has secured inside position and the lead. Golden Jason is second, Ben Jacob on the outside, War Classic down toward the inside. Then it's a length and a half to the veteran Al Jawad Dancer, fourth now, and two lengths better than Gamblin' Fever. Then it's Call Will, Brother Pat is out wide, trying to improve down inside, his 10th star ahead better than El Jefe Grande, and trailing now, Franklin Park. Opening quarter was solid, 23 seconds flat, the half mile and 46 and three, moving right along as Imagine That Mom and Kevin Krieger try to go it all the way. They lead the way by a length and a half as they hit the far turn. From the outside, Golden Jason is now second, War Classic is third. Ben Jacob is next, moving up on the outside, Brother Pat. Here's Brother Pat into a joint third. Following him is Call Will to the outside, El Jefe Grande is covering ground, but making ground. So too on the outside to Call Will, and now off the fence and coming on 10th star. This is wide open as they wheel for the top of the stretch. Imagine that mom still in front. Golden Jason to the attack second. War Classic tries to knife between horses third, and down the outside. Here's 10th star. 10th star and Luca Panici coming on best of all. They collar Golden Jason and move clear. The first North American start will be a winning one for 10th star, who moves away by almost two in the end from War Classic second, then Golden Jason third, and Call Will finish fourth in 141 and two. Number three, 10th star returns from a 21 month layoff to score for Northwest Stud Stables, trained by Giuseppe Acedernia and ridden to victory today by Luca Panici. We'll take a break. Be back for the fifth race in just a bit. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. 
Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Vesselu Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back to fifth race, one mile claiming event. Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the one, Broadway Secret, scratch the five, Kaluma. The jockey on the seven is Ramsey Zimmerman. And Zera. Go to work was off slowly. From the outside, Fee and Sugar begins nicely. In the center, Alguna moves to challenge. And leaving the one mile shoot, Alguna has established a clear early lead. Go to work now, knives between horses to join the party and up on the outside, it's Fee and Sugar in between horses, Slazara. Two lengths better than Captiva's calling, followed inside by Zanhera and Queen Yelena. Last of all, as they run out of the one mile shoot. The leader is Alguna through her opening quarter in 24 and one, leads by two over Slazara second. Toward the inside, go to work is improving under Abdiel Hayen, third now and only a length and a half off the lead. Moving up fourth is Fee and Sugar, a length and a half better than Captiva's calling. Then it's a stretch of five to Zanhera and another five to Queen Yelena. Past the half mile pole they go. They trip the half mile beam and a time of 47 and four. And the leader is still Alguna and she's still doing it nicely. Alguna moves around the far turn, widening on a two length lead, trying to get after her second is go to work. That's all for Slazara toward the outside. Fee and Sugar now goes by her. The rest really not of consequence as they run to the top of the stretch. With the lead, it's Alguna to the top of the stretch, two lengths on top, go to work. Trying to do just that from second, seven lengths ahead of Fee and Sugar third. And they're at the top of the stretch. They're by three quarters in 111 and four and they're into the drive and the leader is Alguna. The margin is two lengths, go to work. Continues to chip away at that margin second and Abdiel Hayen and go to work trying to take another run at this leader now. But with an eighth of a mile to go, Alguna has the lead. Ducking to the inside is go to work, but she's out of time. It's Alguna, gate two wire by two. Go to work second, Fee and Sugar third and Zanhero was fourth in 137 and three. The winner of the fifth, the favorite number four, Alguna, owned by Roth LLC, trained by Gennady Dorichenko, and ridden to victory today by Antokio Mergia. The sixth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's our feature race, the Starfish Bay, $75,000 guaranteed for three-year-old fillies. Scratch the number seven, Tacones. And they're off in the Starfish Bay Stakes. The heavy favorite, Daring Kathy, begins nicely and goes looking for the lead with Garnacha moving up on the outside. Miss Amelina's a bit keen. She's down inside racing third. Followed by Dream Come True, who races away in fourth from second base, who gets off the fence fifth. Orissa to her outside sixth and Marnesia Wild Air. She does her best running later and she's seventh and last as they negotiate the first turn. They're chasing Abdiel Hayan and Daring Kathy. She's the boss. She leads it by a length and a quarter. Garnacha is second, Miss Emelina is third. Dream Come True is in the three path while racing fourth, two lengths better than second base and fifth. Orissa drops over to the rail to save ground second last and Marnesia Wild Air is in touch, but last of all, about seven lengths behind. They went through the opening quarter in 24 and and two casual tempo for the hot shot Philly daring Kathy. She goes by the half mile and 48 and two and leads the way three parts of a length. Garnacha is glued to her well. Second dream come true is third. Miss Emelina is asked to do a little running fourth. Second base starts to improve fifth. Orissa to her inside and Marnesia Wild Air needs to make up six and a half and five sixteenths of a mile to get to daring Kathy. Daring Kathy still confidently handled by Abdiel Hayan. She has her ears cocked and she's in front to length and a quarter. Garnacha is under a ride. So is Dream Come True. Miss Emelina is next. Orissa needs room. Second base covers ground and Marnesia Wild Air is closer but will need to find a clear path and they race to the top of the stretch. Abdiel Hayan cuts Daring Kathy loose and there she goes. Daring Kathy to the final furlong of the Starfish Bay is running up the score. It's Daring Kathy, a very talented filly with a future. She'll win the Starfish Bay stylishly by five. Miss Emelina second from Dream Come True third. Marnesia Wild Air held up and traffic she got running to be fourth in 142 and two number three daring kathy now a perfect three for three on the turf owned by john eaton and steve layman trained by david cork treated to victory today by abdiel high end we'll take a short break and be back for the late daily double obs is the leading two-year-old source to the world 
the OBS June sale has produced such prominent runners as 2013 Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner Golden Sense and 2014 Fountain of Youth Stakes winner Wildcat Red. Nearly 1,200 quality racing prospects will be offered at the OBS June sale of two-year-olds at horses of racing age June 17th through 20th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Welcome back to 7th Race, the 6th for a long sprint. It's a claiming event for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races or straight for three-year-olds. No scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're off. Awkward beginning for Karate Jack. He threw his head up when they sprung it. Down to the inside, Vinny's Wildcat begins the best and goes looking for the lead with Lake Drive South moving to challenge. Moving up on the far outside, Karate Jack rushing up after that bad break with Brown's Gap between horses. Rodriguez is keyed up and a real scramble on for the lead, even Pontos away in the top flight. But Karate Jack, after that bad break, he rushed up and he took the lead now and he leads it by a head, but Pontos is right back at him. Vinny's Wildcat and Lake Drive South third and fourth, followed by Rodriguez, then Brown's Gap. It's a stretch of another three and a half lengths to the trailers. Blue Derby and special night action. They run around the far turn to the top of the stretch run. Ponto shakes free and opens it up by two and a half. Lake Drive South is second. Karate Jack's break did him in. He's backing up now. Vinny's Wildcat is next from the backfield. Special night action runs on and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Pontos who cuts the corner with the race to win or lose. Leads it by a length and a half. Lake Drive South charging at the leader while second. Vinny's Wildcat back third and they're inside the funnel for long. Ponto shortening up. Here's Lake Drive South drawing a Alongside and pressing past late. It will be Lake Drive South and Arnie Fontanez to edge clear to win by a length. Ponto second, Vinny's Wildcat third. Rodriguez was fourth in 110 and two. It's number two, Lake Drive South, getting up to win it for Ona Deidre Marsh, trained by Bill White, winning the victory today by apprentice Arnie Fontanez. The eighth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's a maiden event. Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and up. Scratch the three, the five, the eight, and the fifteen. The jockey on the one, Michael Ritbo on the nine. It's Jonathan Gonzalez on the ten. Kyber Cohen on the sixteen. It's Jose Alvarez. And runners away. From the far outside, Concord Park is gunning out to try to get over from the high draw. Away with speed is Grand Cat, and in between horses, the first time or corner of the market, Don Juan is just off the speed. To the inside, it's Secret Fascination. They're a length and a half better than Dispuesta, with Cleveland on the outside as they run into the first turn. With the lead, the leader is the Grand Cat, three parts of a length. From the outside corner of the market is second, widest of all is Concord Park. Pocketed up is Secret Fascination. Followed by on the outside, Dun One to the inside, Dispuesta. Then it's a length to the team of Cleveland and Corinthian Luck. Moving in between that pair is DJ's Foxy Lady. It's a stretch of two and a half lengths back to Starstruck Slew with Russian Knight down inside. Moving up on the outside is uh, Starship Sassy. And the trailer here is Secret Fascination as they run down the backstretch. The leader continues to be Grand Cat and Cabracoa at the half mile marker and 48 seconds flat from corner of the market in second. Corinthian Luck knifing between horses. They're really taking closer order here. Cleveland's worked off the fence. Far outside, Russian Knights not going to get in trouble. Ritvo and Russian Knights circling the field on the far outside as they run around the far turn. Here's Dun One up to take a crack at the longtime leader, Grand Cat. Russian Knight is now third toward the inside and in secret fascination from fourth. Chamafi and Cleveland working off the fence. Fence and Cleveland's in the clear now with five lengths to raise and a quarter of a mile to raise it. They're at the top of the stretch. Russian Knight with this big, long, sustained run on the outside. But meanwhile, Grand Cat cuts the corner. Grand Cat is still there on the outside. And Russian Knight done one from between them. Secret Fascination and Corinthian Luck are next. Inside the 16th pole, Russian Knight surging. Grand Cat kicking. These two nip and tuck. Russian Knight in time. Michael Rippo and Russian Knight covered ground, circles the field, and won anyway from Grand Cat, a stubborn foe in second in 143 and one. Number one, Russian Knight gets up to win the nightcap owned by Vartan Vartanov, trained by Gennady Dorichenko, his second victory on the card, and ridden the victory by apprentice Michael Rippo. In the pick four, 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 53, 75, pick five, five of five, five, 27, 80, four of five, seven dollars, 60 cents. Pick six, six of six, $1,117.54. There'll be a $200,000 jackpot guarantee going into Friday's card for the Rainbow Six.
That wraps up Sunday's action. Remember, each and every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right here at Gulf Stream Park, we have live racing and the Rainbow Six getting exciting again. Maybe next weekend could be up near $200,000. You got to stay tuned. Good night and good luck.